Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Sports with Riley King. Let's begin. First up, Milford Senior hopes to repeat as Spartan champ. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Jason King. Join Girls Inc. of New Hampshire to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Take part in our 30th annual charity auction. Bianca Williams is a sprinting champion at Milford High School. She competes in both indoor and outdoor track and is also a champion long jumper. In fact, she says she's most proud of her New England long jumping championship last year. Um, I was coming back from an injury, and at that point, I would think I was just jumping in the 16s. That was um, for my state meet, and then for New England's, I was able to jump 18 and 3 fourths. So that was a big accomplishment. The 18-year-old burst onto the scene her freshman year, winning the meet of champions in the 200 meters. But a nagging hamstring injury has forced her to sit out portions of each season since. It's very hard to get over injuries, especially when you just want to go out there and just try to do your thing when it comes to running, but patience, patience is key. Bianca is currently rehabbing the hamstring, but feels good. She hopes to return to competition later this month, aiming to become the four-time Division II champ in the 200. Um, and just try to finish everything off on a good note, especially for the 200 meter. Maybe I could get the state record, hopefully, but that's definitely a go. Regardless of how the spring season turns out, Bianca has much more track in her future. She recently committed to run at Division I Stony Brook next year, where she plans to study either psychology or business. Best of luck to Bianca Williams. She's this week's hometown hero. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. We wish her the very best. Get ready to celebrate Red Sox Patriots Championship at Fenway Opener. Fenway Home Opener is scheduled for 2.05 p.m. on Tuesday. Take a look at this video from WCVB. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Looking for the home opener of the Boston Red Sox on Tuesday. Very cool indeed. Fisher Cats ready for opening day, and they are currently playing right now at Northeast Delta Dental Stadium in Manchester, New Hampshire. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Kevin Skrupa. I'll tell you, Adam, it is nothing but sunshine out here right now, and it is beautiful. The sun feels gorgeous. Obviously, we have the wind to contend with this afternoon, but should be starting to come down later on this evening. My grandchild is here with me, and I'll tell you, 
what a beautiful scene this is out here. Nothing but sunshine and ready for opening night for the defending champs. We are so excited for opening day. And yes, beautiful sight seeing that Bubby, Bubby, that puppy running. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, give me just a couple of quick notes about this thing. It, it, I don't think television does this complete justice. So that's a full HD video board. Uh, mm -hmm. There's over 2 million LED, high-def LED bulbs in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like an earlier, 1,850 square feet total um, space, which is similar to the size, the full area that we had prior to putting this new video board up. Uh, great HD um, production room now. MLB TV, everything will be all high definition. Have replay. Great partner with Service Credit Union doing that as well. And it's we're excited with... I can't wait for everybody to see this in person because, as you said, it doesn't do it justice no. until you see it in person. It's it, crisp. It is truly a major league scoreboard when you walk in and you just look at it. So tonight, uh, game time, 6.35, uh, the Binghamton Rumble Ponies here this evening. You guys are the defending champs, and so th this is one of those seasons that's got to be really exciting. The fans are going to be ready to go. Yeah, they're ready. We're ready. The team's ready. Mm -hmm. um, we have 10 returning players. Uh, some of our pitching staff, Taylor Salcedo, uh, we also had um, Andrew Case uh, that was on the 2010 from the pitching staff, or not 2010, 2018 championship series. So we're excited. I know those guys are ready. Mike Mordecai, our manager, and the coaching staff, Vince Horseman, you know, those guys are, are they're pumped. They're ready to go, put on a good show for our fans today. So we're excited. So 6.35 this evening, uh, magnetic schedule handouts, as well as... Of course, fireworks, got to have that for opening night. It wouldn't be an opening night or a great way to kick off the season without our Atlas Fireworks shows. They do such a phenomenal job, and it's one of our fan favorites. So I figured let's start the season with it. Yeah. NHFisherCats.com for all the information. First game tonight right here at 635. It should be a fantastic evening. Okay, and there you go on that video from WMUR News 9, Kevin Scrippa. And... All of us here at the Riley King Network are ready for 2019 Fisher Cats season. We got our Fisher Cats shirt on, as you can see. Go Fisher Cats! Let's play ball 2019. Looking forward to the 2019 season of New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Take a look at this photo right here from WMUR News 9, Jamie Steeston. You are invited to Billy's Sports Bar in Manchester tonight from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Jason King and I will be guest servers, a fundraiser for Special Olympics New Hampshire. See you there. Very cool indeed. And, again, Jamie Staston will be running the Boston Marathon. So, cheer him on during the Boston Marathon this year. And he's running with WMUR News 9 News Director Alicia. And Jamie Staston and Jason King, they both do a wonderful job delivering Sports News on WMUR News 9. Keep up the great work, you guys. The Boston Bruins, they play tonight at 8 p.m. Boston Bruins at Minnesota Wild. And you can watch it on FSN and Nessen. And that is it for this edition of Sports with Riley King. Have a wonderful Thursday night, everyone. See you tomorrow night with more sports news right here on the Riley King Network. Good night, everyone. Bye.